Hey guys, my name is Ashley. I've been doing a channel called Think to Rethink about lining your thinking pattern up with God's word, um, aligned to what he says about us and what he says about every area of your life. Um, decisions, choices that you're going to make, stuff like that. Just everyday life. So I was at work earlier and all of a sudden I just had all this like revelation come to me, uh, knowledge, and I just started writing uh, on a scrap piece of paper from work and as I was working I was writing and things just kept popping in my mind and stuff it was amazing I've been taking a class and it's like a healing class of uh, stuff that you've been through in your past and stuff like that and um, to go deeper into your, your self-awareness of yourself and why you do what you do your personality type stuff like that it's amazing and last night a lot of it really spoke to me about different perspectives and stuff like that so i just thought i, I just started thinking about the perspective um that god has like out of god's lenses what he sees and what he thinks about us and stuff and i came up with this thing it's really cool actually it's for your walk with god like what god wants in your walk with him right so I did W because I'm going to spell out walk and it has a meaning every letter. W, walk in freedom. A, a, obe a obedient heart. L, love. K, know him and glorify him. So let's start with a, uh, W for spelling walk because we have a walk with God when we're walking in this world and we have a re relationship with God, it's called our walk, right? Um, so he wants us to walk in freedom. So when strongholds and chains and um, all the old sinful things, like uh, all the old bad patterns are broken and you've been delivered from it and um, you, you just have freedom, right? You can walk in freedom and when you have your salvation um, through Christ, when you receive Christ, um, by grace through faith, we're saved, right? And when we start our walk with God, then we still have all these old things, these old habits, these old mindsets that we've had throughout our whole life until that point. But God says that we become a new create a new creature, a creature, the old has passed away and the new has come. We're no longer a slave to sin but we're a slave to righteousness right that's when we begin our life with god but i believe that god really does want us to walk in freedom when we're living in this world why we're why we're on earth so w is walk in freedom for sure and then comes o obedience but a obedient heart I did for a because I'm spelling walk right so a obedient heart um after you receive God's forgiveness and his love you'll want his will for your life not in every area but God starts to show you that his ways are better and as you grow and learn that certain things that you made decisions in your own desires and your own will doesn't work out right you start to align yourself up with what god wants for you and his will for you because you start to see that your ways is not getting you anywhere right so then you start to want his will for your life so then that's when you get a obedient heart where you want to obey him you want to follow him. You want to do it his way because you've already done it your way. So you want to do it his way because you want to, your outcome you already know about and you don't want to go back down the same path. If you're a fool, you'll still get on the same path. But if you're not a fool and if you are chosen and a child of God and you want victory in your life and you don't want to make the same mistakes and you want a better life than what you were living and how you've been choosing it, then you'll want to be obedient. And you'll start to be obedient in more areas of your life. And then uh, L is love. So when you receive God's love, then you have it to give. 
then you can give to other people God's love because you'll have it. Um, it's not it's it's not easy to receive God's love because the world tells us that love is one thing, and God's word says the truth of what love really is and the world tells us opposite of what god's love is what real love is god is love the bible says um so the more you know and learn about god the more you get to know god in prayer and uh seeking him and his word and having that close um like relationship with him the closer you get the more love you you'll receive and you can give because God is love. Oh, goodness. Let's see. So if you love God too, you will obey him. And it will show by you obeying. The more you obey, the more you're going to love God because you're obeying. And it says that whoever is not made perfect in love is not from God. They're, they're not of God. Because God is love. Yeah. So the last one is um k it's know him and glorify him okay so by living in obedience and loving others as god loved you and your actions and your life choices reflects who god is his character when you're being obedient and you're allowing god to work in your life and work through you and god gets the glory he gets all the credit he gets the reflection of him through you because people can't help but to see especially the people that are lost in the world they can't help us to, but to notice that there's something different about a child of God that's being obedient and following God because this world is different this world doesn't have that this world isn't of God right um, not saying that it wasn't made by God or anything like that, but there's a lot of people in this world that don't know God and that only know the worldly things like, um, jealousy or envy. They have all those things mixed up with life and they think that's part of life. They think that everybody has to lie or everyone has to cut someone off and, uh, ghost them or you know what I mean like they think that other like everybody should be like them because that's all they know because that's who they are some of them but then when they meet a real child of God and I say that because there's a lot of there's a lot of people that say that they're followers of Christ but it's not evident in their life so when you meet a child of God and that child is being obedient and following what God says and um just received the love and the freedom like how i've been going over what walk means when you walk in freedom when you've been delivered and you just you don't care anymore about this world or what it brings but all you care is about doing your father's work what he's called you to do who he's made you to be and all you care about is having victory and fulfilling the purpose he's created you for and just doing what he created you for the good works that he made before he even did the foundation of the world before any of that he already knew the good works that he called you to do so whenever you start to do those things it, it, it's just amazing you can walk in freedom and um obedience when you're being obedient then you are basically doing it god's way and you're allowing him to work fully in your life and when your love what um the love that you receive if you when you receive it from god then you can love other people with it because you'll know what love is and you can give it out because you'll have it you can't give what you don't have and god is love so to know god like know him and glorify him when you know him and stuff you'll have the love you'll have the heart for being obedient to what he wants his will his way because you know it's the best life because he has great plans for you for a hope and a future it says in the bible and not to harm us 
and it's just it's just amazing i just thought i would share that so walk again means w walk in freedom a a obedient heart l love k know him and glorify him i believe that's what walk is to me that's what it means to me um when i'm walking with god so i hope you guys have a great day and till next time bye love you all